Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Susan and I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to play some World of Warcraft Classic. I'm going to do the run from the Night Elf starting area all the way to Ironforge at level 1, which is probably insane, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so far, these are my characters. This is the one I played yesterday. She is a night elf hunter. She is level 5. She has no pet yet. You don't get those until level 10 when in Classic WoW. And you have to do quests, so it's not automatic. And I got a level 1 mage. A level 1 undead warlock. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. Don't hate. Alright, here's the character I'm going to work with. This is Shadowstar. I created a rogue. I'm pretty predictable when it comes to the way my night elves look. So, yes, she likes to bounce around. Her boobs like to move up and down. So, that's what she does. Anyway, I'm going to enter. I'll just let this For 10,000 years. The immortal Night Elves cultivated a druidic society within the shadowed recesses of Ashenvale Forest. Yet recently, the catastrophic invasion of the Burning Legion shattered the tranquility of their ancient civilization. Led by the arc druid Malfurion Stormrage and the priestess Tyranda Whisperwind, the mighty Night Elves rose to challenge the demonic onslaught. Though victorious, the Night Elves were forced to sacrifice their cherished immortality and watch their beloved forests burn. Seeking to regain their immortality, a number of wayward druids conspired to plant a special tree that would link their spirits to the eternal world. Despite Malfurion's warnings that nature would never bless such a selfish act, the druids planted the great tree Teldrassil off the stormy coasts of northern Kalimdor. Within the twilight boughs of the colossal tree, the wondrous city of Darnassus took root. However, the great tree was not consecrated with nature's blessing and soon fell prey to the corruption of the burning legion. Now the wildlife and even the limbs of the great tree itself are tainted by a growing darkness. As one of the few Night Elves still left in the world, it is your sworn duty to defend Darnassus and the wild children of nature against the Legion's encroaching corruption. All right, here we are. I hope you all was able to hear that. Um, just a little bit of backstory on the Night Elf um, history, so, but. I was playing this yesterday, and there's a lot of people playing Night Elves, so it's kind of, I don't know how many other races are being played, but there was a crap ton of Night Elves here yesterday. Kind of made it hard a little, little bit to quest because everything was getting killed before you had a chance to get to it. So we are going to start in Shadow Glen. As you can see, I'm not picking up any quests. I don't know if I will do any... I'll probably do end up leveling just by ex exploration. So... This is probably not the smartest thing in the world to do, but... We're gonna do it. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how many times I'm gonna die. I'm gonna stick to the road, but... If you've ever played well before, you know that creatures do not stay in the field. They like to travel. So I'm also going to have to watch out for mobs that travel the road as well. So right now we're in Teldrassil. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. I never could pronounce it right. <laughs> so uh, I thought about first turning off the general chat, but I'm just going to let it roll. We're not going to be in an area too long for um, to worry about it. So 
Let me back up just a little bit so you can see this land. I love the Night Elf land. It is so pretty. This guy right here, when you get high enough, he's going to have quests for you. And then and then the Night Elves get mad at you for doing quests for him. And you have to go kill him. So, that's like, alright. So, a little arrow pointing down over that owl means that that's a death mark. Which means it's another, it's a hunter playing in. Um, playing their spell hunters hunters mark which pretty much lets other people know that you have that uh, mob targeted and you have hopefully they won't go and attack it before you get a chance to because in classic wow if you, sorry about that in classic wow if you tag a mob and somebody hits it before you get to it that you don't get credit for that kill um, if you're a, a character that does spells and you takes a um, channeling to be able to do it and you're in the middle of channeling to hit a mob and somebody comes and attacks it first you just wasted your channeling because they get credit for it even though you were doing it first. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that do that. So you just kind of have to hope that you're in an area where people aren't going to be jerks like that. This is a long run just to get to Darnassus, which is the capital city of the Night Elves. So, but, but anyway, in um, modern WoW, which is what I've been hearing it called now, people share kills so even if you aren't in a team or a group if you tag something that somebody else has already tagged or started beating on or um, you'll get the credit for it too so there's no worry about having to have somebody steal your kill for, out from underneath you so that's one of the good things that they managed to do because back in the day when we first started playing back in 2005 it was a pain in the rear end because people were just going around killing things out from underneath you. So. You forget how long this run is. <laughs> Classic wall, you don't get a mount until level 40 and it's expensive. Um, modern well you get a mount at 20 and it's not as expensive so that is a druid in their bear form so we are not far from Darnassus so we're going to Go to Darnassus, we have to go through the uh, portal to get to the outside where we will take a flight over to Darkshore and from Darkshore we're going to take a boat to the wetlands. So. See, we're gaining experience just by exploring. So, we might hit level 2 by the time we get to Iron Forge. We'll see. And back in Classic WoW, the chat channels were not, um, the trade channels were not linked between cities. I don't think so. Anybody that you see chatting in trade are actually in the city. I can't remember. Like I said, that's been 14 years ago since we first started playing. So. I 
Okay, chat channel is saying that in the center Darnassus go through the portal and that there is a ship. I can't remember if the ship actually takes you to the wetlands or if it takes you to Darkshire. I really thought that you had to go all the way to Darkshire. first time we were playing this, my kids were, first time they went through this portal, I'm like, oh, uh, what are you doing? You're not supposed to go through there? Because <laughs> I didn't know. So my first character was a, um, I believe my first character was a gnome. Gnome mage. Okay. Wait. Is there no flight over here? Okay, doesn't look like there's a flight over here. This is really surreal because this is not what this looks like now. Okay. Now there's a boat that takes you to... Is there a boat that takes you to Booty Bay? And the boat that takes you. I don't know which one it is. So we're going to sit here and we're going to wait just a little bit for the boat to come back. Do, 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 do. Anyway, when I was playing yesterday, it was really, really, really different to get used to because there's so many things that you get accustomed to in World of Warcraft now that you don't have now. I don't think this is the boat. I think this is this is the boat that you get when you play a Draenei in Burning Crusade. So I think I need to go over here. See, I haven't done this in a long time. There's like in modern WoW there is a flight path that you'll take that's like right up here that you'll take from here to Darkshire or Darkshore, not Darkshire, Darkshore uh, oh there is a flight path, okay see mm. like I said you gotta forgive me ever since Cataclysm things have been completely I different so this is going to take you to Ruthrian Village, so see I was right okay so Dark Shore. Did not. So this is going to take us to Dark Shore where we will catch a boat over to the wetlands. This is going to be weird because this area is going to be completely like together whereas in after Cataclysm hit and um, the big dragon decided to tear up the world, it is pretty much torn apart. So, That's not there anymore. This big old long ramp is not here anymore. This is really surreal, guys. Aberdeen. Okay, gain another 55 experience. People are going to be looking at me like, what are you doing over here? But if they play well, they know why I'm here. They know where I'm going. So, we're going to take this big long pier. And I have to remember which side is which. So you have already earned 202, 210 points just by 
Okay, boat to tow Drassel. Which is just where we were, so I guess there is a boat that goes there. Alright. And boat to Minithil. So we're gonna go over here. I guess I just didn't feel like waiting. Ha! <laughs> so. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait. Wait for the boat. Because the boat takes forever. But yeah, it took me like almost two hours just to level to level five yesterday playing a night elf. I don't know if that's because it just takes a little bit longer or if there's just was a lot of people playing so I had to wait for mobs to return. So our boat is on its way. So we can check off that. I've got a list here of things that we're going to do. So we're either going to stop at Ironforge and then I'll do a, another video where we go from Ironforge all the way down to Booty Bay, which is going to be quite the adventure on its own. Um, so. And if you don't know anything about WoW, well, this is probably all Greek and you may not um, So we're going to take this boat. We're going to climb up here. We're going to climb up here just because I'm... Yeah, we used to go out there and stand out there. That was always a hoot. It was a hoot, honey. It was a hoot. So. Boat takes a second. Make sure anybody that needs to get on gets on. Where's the crew? There used to be a crew here. Or there is now. There's no crew. The boat is running on its own. There's no captain. There's no captain on the boat. Come on. There it goes. We'll travel for a little bit, then I go to like a, a cut graphic, so. These are all the different spells I got right now, which isn't much, because I'm only level one. That's Kalimdor, where I'm at, and I'm heading to the Eastern Kingdoms. Wow, this map looks a lot different now. Okay. Let's come down here. We'll be ready to get off the boat. That's probably not the right way. Minifield Harbor. Again, most of this is underwater. And well as it is now. Wow, there's a lot of people waiting to get on the boat. Level 23. Alright. There's level 24 warlock. So what we usually have to do is, in Classic WoW, there are auction houses. I don't know if it is, we'll check and see if it's on there. But in Classic WoW, there was only one auction house, and that was in Ironforge. And so Ironforge was the hotbed. That's where everybody went to, to pretty much do anything, because that's where all the auction house was. When we first started playing WoW, we was on dial-up. Hey. Mr. Blanche, Barnaby's dead. Okay, now. So, when we were first started playing, we was on dial-up. Yes, I know, dial-up. Only one person can play WoW at a time. It was a pain in the butt. So, but, 
what was worse was knowing that when you go to Iron Forge, you are going to be hit with a very high latency. See, now we, we're in the wetlands. So there were times when our latency was like at 10,000, seriously. And you would step into Iron Forge and we would immediately get disconnected. And it was a nightmare. Because if you went in there and you got disconnected, you were not going to get back out. If you wanted to play, you'd be playing on a different character. Or you'd be logging in at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning just to play. Just to get out of Iron Forge, just so that you can do something. Um, so, okay. It was a pain in the ass. Seriously. Um, so, but that's where we're going now. As you can see, my latency is only 83 because our internet is 10 million times better than what it was when we first started playing 14 years ago. Things we got to watch for over here are alligators and murlocs and gnolls. See? I've already got an alligator after me. I died. Aw, he's going to resurrect me. How sweet. Let me thank him real quick. See? They are... 10 levels higher than me, so they're question mark. So. so. He says he's going to run with me for a little bit more, so. He'll probably kill things as they're coming out. He's a paladin, that's why he was able to resurrect me. Uh-oh, I hear a murloc. He's gonna kill him for me. See it. That's a murloc. They are not fun. We got raptors over here. I hear another crocolisk. Right, nope, that's a raptor. Got a raptor. <gasps> ah, crap. Died again. Right. <laughs> so that's num death number two. So. He wanted to group up, so he's going to protect me. That's pretty cool. So only two deaths isn't so bad. <laughs> I'm about to level anyway. I've only got 25 points to level. Plus I'll get credit for his kills, so... Oh, he left the group. Okay. That's cool. Whatever. Oh, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to go over here where hopefully the crocodiles won't see me. Crocodiles. Ah! Damn it. Okay. 
That's three. Well, at least my skill in defense is running up. It's going up. So he's a hunter. He's got his pet. Nope, he's not a hunter. That's a. He's running around with a druid in a cat form. Nope, it's a hunter. I'm just. I just need to not stop talking because I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. <laughs> no, nope, that's a hunter. He's got his cat. He just hasn't named his cat. Got wolves up there. Hopefully they don't see me. So we're going to lock mode Dan now. So lock mode Dan. And I leveled. Okay, there's a crocolis. So I'm going to come over here. Hopefully they won't see me. There's orcs over there. Hopefully they won't see me. It's crazy. Okay. So, I think we're almost getting down to the end of it. Wetlands is huge. They've actually, in, um, in Wild today, they've actually got it cut up into like three different areas. We were questing one area, then move to the next area. area. Um, and you move to the last area. So... You don't have to run back and forth. And there's flight paths in each area, so that makes it a lot easier to get from one area to another. In Classic WoW, there's only flight paths in the big, big cities. Okay, there's a spider. Don't see me, spider. I am a rogue, so I can stealth, I just don't have the power to be able to do so now. No, 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 run, 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 ah. uh, dang it, that's four. When you're a night elf, you become a wisp when you're dead.
you're not getting it edited. Everything you see is what happened. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to travel a little bit further than my body to get as far distance as I can. I'm almost to the gate, so almost there. Or a tunnel. That's actually a tunnel. This is going to be tricky. There's ooze. Hopefully they don't see me. There's a no more lock. What I thought about doing is I thought about kind of doing like a side-by-side -side comparison where I would play an area in Classic WoW and then see how long it takes me to get to get to the area, see what level I end up with, um, things like that, and then go back and do the same area in BOA, which is Modern WoW right now and see how long it takes me to do that. Kenneth thinks I ought to do it with complete legacy gear and everything like that just to show how much easier it is now. Um, classic as compared to modern WoW. And, um, so that might be something that I do. I'll um, do one video in classic and then do another video in modern and just kind of do like a playlist. Um, But I know I'm putting these videos on my stitching and diamond painting channel. So I know this isn't going to appeal to a lot of people, but it's more for um, the experience. And maybe, if nothing else, I can draw some people into playing. So uh, that would be interesting. Okay, I think this last tunnel leads to lock mode Dan. And plus you'll be able to see the differences that when the cataclysm hit um, what it did to the world. So this is very very different. I can't remember if there's another tunnel or not. We'll see. There is. Okay. So I think... So now we're getting into Lock Modan. Somebody told me yesterday that I needed to wait until I was at least level 13 to do this run. I'm like, what's the fun in that? yeah you're still lower level than the creatures and everything but you know it's it's more interesting to try to do this at level one okay so we're in Loch Modan we're probably going to run into bears and spiders and tarantulas and boars and well, I don't think the boars are hostile. I don't think the ho boars are hostile here. Okay, so we are going to no, we don't want to go to Delsamar. Don Moreau. That's our map. Uh,
Has this always been up here? been up here. All right, we didn't have to run through Do Lock Modan. missing something here. Has that pass always been there? He's watching a video. Okay, well we didn't have to run through Loch Modan, so that took off a big, huge section of it. So, we are on our way to Ironforge. It went so bad. This got killed four times, so you know, it's Iron Forge, Kranos. We do have to watch out for like snow leopards and bears over here, so we're not completely out of the woods yet. eventually do get to a place where the boars are are hostile but not for a while the bunny rabbit. There's a human paladin running through here. He's probably going to the lock. They call it the lock. Almost there. I'm gonna go running around for a little bit. Show you the uh, well, let's go see if the auction house is available. See this doesn't look too different than what it is now. So there's snow leopard. Let me run 
running around on the snow. The crunching of the snow. <laughs> It's definitely not a quick jaunt from the Night Elf area to to Iron Forge. So what I should have done if I was smart is when I was in the wetlands, I should have picked up the flight path. Ooh, somebody gave me intellect boost which doesn't make any sense since I am a rogue and I don't use mana but okay I'm pretty sure it's not just for mana though so what I need is a priest to give me a stamina boost that would be awesome Frozen. Yay! There's there's the way to the lock. This is the way we're coming. But we are gonna go to Iron Forge, so we're gonna turn here. We're gonna go across this bridge. And we are going to make a right. Hello, Mr. Iron Forge Guard. How are you today? Hello, Mr. No Warlock. Hello, Mr. Dwarf Hunter. We've discovered the gates of Iron Forge. You get tired just watching them run, right? And we have made it to Iron Forge. only died four times all at the wetlands okay let's see now this is where the auction this is either the is this the auction or the bank the bank. This is the Iron Forge bank. Bink. 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 Uh, ah, over here is where the auction is. And the auction house is open. There is an auction. Auction! <coughs> doink, doink. Alright, let's go... Let's go on to Stormwind. So, we need to... What? You can fly to Stormwind? Oh. Yeah, I need to go get the flight path. Thank you, honey. go get the flight path. Great to meet you. Uh -huh. 
I don't have any commendation signets. Hello, Mr. Magni. Hello, King. It's King Bronzebeard. He's not in modern, wow. I just had to go say hi. We'll go to Stormwind and then we will go say hi to Varian because Varian died. Tinker Town. That's full of gnomes. This is the way to the tram. <coughs> now this tram will take us to Stormwind and back. I always like to get into the middle, so... I can hop on whichever one comes first. They both go to the storm wind, so. Let's take a seat and wait. Aww. We're gonna go on this one. Whee! My son likes to take his characters and just jump everywhere. Like, what's the point? Whee! Come on. 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 I've actually run a tram before. This whole, because this all over here is like a sidewalk where you can run it if you want. Now that takes a freaking long time. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. If my husband could hear me, he'd probably be over there nodding his head on me right now. So. Hello, Mrs. Shet. Instead of going around, we're just going to jump down and go over here. That means nothing. I try to make heads or tails of it, but it doesn't do anything. And jump. <laughs> Alright, now we is in Stormwind City. This is the human capital. This is the Dwarven District. That's where you can do your blacksmithing and your forging and your things like that. That person's name is green over their head because they are in PvP. I guess they want to be dangerous. We're going to turn here. 
because we're going to go up to the capital. Stormwind Keep. Okay, so the whole thing is the capital, but now we're going to go to where the king is. Dragon. There's Anduin. Hey, I'm recording. Uh, where's the king at? Is the king not in Stormwind? We're not going to be able to say hello to Anduin because, or to Varian because Anduin, who is this creepy looking kid right here, is the king's son and who's apparently the king of Stormwind already. Where's Anduin? I mean, where's Varian? It's been a long time. You'll have to forgive me. I'm going to end this right here. When I come back, we will run from Stormwind all the way to Booty Bay and see how many times we die then. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.